Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Galactic Civilization 3 as the Iridium Corporation. So I have just the one shipyard. I feel like we're starting to get a hang of how things are working out here. It's going all right, let's go ahead and end our turn. Got some new research complete. Customer relations, we now have access to the market center. We also have the entertainment center, which we should probably build on the capital. The Promethean Pleasure Park, that's a lot of morale. Also 1.5 maintenance per turn, which is quite a bit. And now we can create trade routes. We've gained plus two max trade licenses. We've upgraded our ship design, the Hall X Mark I, which is our trade ship. Curious to see why it shows it on there twice. But uh, okay, sure. Next tech, commercial specialization, customer, what? what? What was it called? Commerce specialization. Adds a trade route. Or we can have plus four morale. Well, gee, that sounds great, but I think we need to get this one first. Considering it would only benefit the capital planet right now, I don't think we need to do it. Of course, there's antimatter near a black hole. That's not, that's not surprising at all. The capsule here. Okay, we're going to check this one out. 172 treasury, nice. Some sort of a, like, move counter would be really handy. Since that's within his zone of influencers, uh... Influence area. I'd like to try to push him. We take some of his stuff, if we can. Hey, there's the Yor survey ship. I would love to kill that thing. The Seeker is just a scout, though. Hey, there's a Class 9 breadbasket planet. And we do have that spare colony ship. Which apparently uh, still hasn't even landed yet. So, all right, redirection. Off you go. Hopefully no one else takes it before we can get there. Okay, our prospector is going to head to this capsule. More treasury. Good. More treasury. Come on. Nice. You're level three now. This, this ship is up to 15 moves now. Five more experience and we took a wormhole trip. And he's still got eight moves to go. I mean, it's crazy. How many moves he has. This early in the game. Alright. We are about to colonize our third planet. Rune Fang the First. Cool. We found an abandoned sensor platform in orbit with a strange sensor array in it. It's, it's a sealed unit, and we're pretty sure that opening it will render it unusable. But there's nothing stopping us from deploying it on a planet or vessel. We should deploy it to a planet to help protect our citizens. This is a benevolent choice. We get the subspace resonator improvement. Or we could give it to a ship, the subspace resonator component, or the subspace resonator component for giving powerful sensors to a ship. Giving powerful sensors to a ship. So we could basically just choose. I think um, benevolent, if I remember correctly, was just better for my usual playstyle. This planet has a mineral-rich tile, plus two to research, plus one to adjacent wealth, plus two to tourism, plus one to adjacent influence. Now, do we have to build that that building, the sub subspace resonator dash B, on this planet? Player achievement, one per player. It's a military improvement. Improvement greatly increases the sensor power of a single colony. Sensor power plus sixty-four. Manufacturing cost is 128. Wow. And since it's a military improvement, we could put it on a location that has military bonus, which we have none. Great. We have plus one to military from here. If we built it like here, the uh, level one, it only gives plus 0.1 sensor power from the level one adjacency, so that's not worth it at all, I think. It'd make more sense over here. 64 sensor power. If I'm not mistaken, that would reveal practically the whole galaxy. Let's build it. 68 turns. <laughs> so you're saying we need a little bit more than that. Of that. Let's see if I want, I want to figure this out. So if we have no military connection, then we've got 1.9 manufacturing, and this thing had a cost of 128. 
So 128 divided by 2 would be, would be 60, 64, yes? So it should take about 64 turns, roughly? Yeah, okay, so it's all defaulting to social. Excellent. Now my global focus... was research wealth. So if I do manufacturing fo focus, we lose nothing. And actually, I think there's a little trick we can do here. If we temporarily make this our capital, we get uh, an extra colony capital and then civilization capital bonus of plus five. So all of a sudden we have 7.4. We can knock this thing out in 18 turns. Or we could just buy it for 1280 BC. I believe buying it should only cost the remaining points. I don't know, though. I think moving the capital here for now would be a great idea. So could we benefit from buying just like one manufactory right now at the very beginning? Just 30 points, 30 production value. I can knock out an extra 20% manufacturing bonus. It's okay. Considering we only have 10% right now. That seems like a pretty useful thing to spend the money on. But that means... I'm like 90% sure that we're wasting all of this 7.4 manufacturing right now. And I, I just, I loathe when games do the things like this, where it's like you're penalized for using this buy it out now feature, you know? So I should change my capital again to something else. Like, actually, probably uh, Valus would be better. Because we are still trying to make research and, and, and income right now. We're not really trying to knock out too many ships at the moment. We're doing the economic stimulus. We do need to build the building that gives happiness. Plus two to level population. Xeno farms are population improvements. The approval center is not. I want to check one thing real quick. If I cancel this here... Can I build it on any planet or just that planet? I would assume that it's just that planet, but... Nope! Apparently not. We can build it on any planet. Tiny extra little bit of sensor power there. I think it makes more sense to build it here and then build a nice military structure there, so we get a plus five on that tile. So since we are trying to build this, we can knock it out way quicker on our capital. It's showing 619 turns because all of it's going towards that other production. I think what we do, we go to our capital. Oh, curious. I had assigned these to here. And uh, now they're back assigned to Iridia. Why is that? If I've assigned them somewhere, shouldn't it stay that way? Interesting. How about I assign this to Iridia? And we'll pay attention to this mining base and see if uh, it goes away at any point. And then what we'll do is we'll just go to our shipyard. We'll go to Manage. Edit Sponsors. We'll disconnect Iridia for now. So that all of its production can default to the subspace resonator. We'll end up having it in just six turns. I've already made you my capital, right? No, but we can now. Yeah, this is definitely where we want the capital then. Five turns. Excellent. Okay, changing my capital didn't change it. Maybe that's what did it. No, because I made Valus my capital. Why would these have defaulted back to Iridia? Very interesting. Right, so we do need to choose our ideology. So since I chose uh, the benevolent decision on that colonization event, uh, we don't have access to pragmatic or, or, or malevolent, but we can do a benevolent choice. Outreach. Benevolent civilizations believe they can peacefully explore and colonize the galaxy. Outreach gives them the tools they need to do it. 
So it grants a free, fully loaded colony ship, and actually it gives you five population instead of three. Don't know why. We can do the Elevation Foundation... Achievement. Prominence. In a missionary center. Or 150 free research points. Well, the colony ship is usually better. And having an extra planet and then working your way up this thing is just usually really good. I'll take the free colony ship, please. And uh, yeah, see their population five. So that's a lot of population. This planet also only has two movement. And uh, I actually am not aware of any other planets that we can colonize. Where can I see population caps? Colonies? Oh, you seriously? You're not going to show me the food? So I've got to go through each planet manually to see how much population they can hold. Okay, fine. Food 15. So we could dock all, all these people in this Iridia right now, just to make it useful. I think that that makes a lot of sense. But if I don't get these people out of here soon, then we're going to uh, miss out on our potential growth in this in this planet. So I think then what we do then is we actually take a couple of the people. You can be up to five. Let's take like one population unit off. Grab the settler. I want to come out with uh, one population from Iridia. And then in two turns, you can dock up in Valus. Okay. I don't trust that I've actually used all my turns. But I guess I have. So the possibility engine is being built very slowly now. That's okay. Okay, so here we had bought out the basic manufactory, I thought. Yes, and then I ended up deciding that I was going to do it on a different planet altogether. Cool. Okay, research bonus, tourist bonus. What do we need more of right now? We, we have a, a manufacturing planet, a really weak research planet, but we don't really have a money planet. And this planet does have plus adjacency to wealth. So that's good-ish. I mean, I could do a research lab here just to get a tiny little benefit, but I think we're more it's more valuable probably to do the adjacency type things. So, um, gross income plus 10%. Okay, so the free market is superior. It looks like. The market center. It's actually a, a double class item. It's a wealth improvement and an influence improvement. This might be one of our things that's like special to the Iridium Corp. I don't actually have very much money though. I got 553. Knowing what your credits are, even on the screen, would be quite handy. Uh, let's see. I mean, how awesome would it be if we could get a Promethean Reserve on this planet? So we get the net income plus eight. Plus two level of wealth bonuses to, to adjacent spots. So our first little bit of Promethean we could use on that. I think we do that. I think we take free markets and we ring them around a location where we can build... We could, like, upgrade that tile with the planetary soil upgrade and build a Promethean thing there. We could do free markets here. Like this. And do we want to try to buy them? I think I'd rather save my money to do the, uh, the asteroid belts. Now that I know that those are available, those are pretty damn good.
Can't get too close to this thing. You are just a scout ship, so you've got to steer clear of these anomalies for me. You are also a scout ship. With horrible, horrible movement speed, by the way. Okay, so since we colonized, we actually do have more range up here now. That's useful. If you just had a little bit better sensors... I wonder if I can upgrade this Merc's ship. Like, give him better sensors. That would be pretty handy. Universal Translator in two turns. About damn time, right? Now what color am I? I'm yellow, so I'm not doing too great against the Torians. As far as faction power, economic power. Population spiked up because of that benevolent effect. Research. The Torians are just running away with it right now. Manufacturing though, I think that's me. I think I've been doing pretty well on manufacturing. God, the Torians raw production is crazy with all that population, man. They are a pretty cool race as well. Plus, I think he did a better job than I did with all these mining bases and stuff, spending his money the right way at the start of the game. But hey, you know what? It's been a long time since I played, and I uh, didn't remember how to do that. See, here's like a minor complaint here. You can't tell, like, if I click here, I think it's going to go around the black hole, but I don't know, because there's no way of, like, shift-clicking or, like, just seeing how far you can go. Apparently, I can go outside of, sense, uh, outside of my range just by doing that. Uh, yeah, sure. What is a range? This guy's limping home, that's fine. We have met, uh, these guys. The Iconian Refuge. We don't have Universal Translator yet. Still says two turns remaining. Just one we were a little bit closer than that. Hmm. We can rename the star. Please don't take my other planet. Iconian Refuge has captured an Ascension Crystal. A debris field, a little bit more treasury. I feel like we should at least try to, uh head back with this guy. There could be anomalies everywhere. And I really do want to scout out some of these other planets, so let's just head in a straight line back towards our own space. Hey, speak of the devil, there's a capsule. Plus 25% universal translator, cool. Which means we just got the research. Good deal. Diplomatic specialization. We could try to get a diplomacy bonus of plus one or diplomatic trade value. I think we go down to approval now. Plus four raw approval, I think, sounds really solid. All right, you have arrived, and I was correct that this is the the range there. So let's go ahead and uh, build a ship. Let's construct a star base right here. Our first star base. We've had permanent structures in space before, but nothing like this. All right, how long is that going to take? It just says now building. Is it all done? Assign Starbase Sponsors. Sponsored Shipyards, 1. Total Sponsor Manufacturing, 1.9. Total Modules currently on order, 0. Okay, so automatically order upgrades for installed modules. Manually manage Starbase Sponsors. 
Okay, so there's some upgraded system then that's going to give us some stuff here. So if we do a mining ring, that's what I want to do here. That is going to cost me nothing, because we already had the point available. It's immediately a, a thing here. And I think that that consumed the mining ship. Yes? Or not mining ship, but the uh, the constructor. Yes, this seems familiar. Okay, so we should have just gained some raw resources. Where do we see our resources? Where can I see what I have? I think I remember seeing it in the designer. Or do we need to wait one turn until we have it? Maybe that's the case. Got our first Durantium and the first Thulio mine. We are pleased with the ideological path you have chosen thus far. Good. Glad to hear it. Alright, there we go. Now we can see it. One and one. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I will be back, though. Same time, same place tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.